reports of injuries. New details tonight on a serial killer now linked to at least 34 murders. The FBI is now looking into claims of two other killings right here in Phoenix. Team 12's Michael Doudna has been following this case and joins us from the Alert Center with a possible connection to the Valley. Michael? Samuel Little has told police confessing to two murders here in Phoenix in the late 1980s and 1990s. Samuel Little already behind bars for murder, now being investigated for more than 90. So far, 34 murders confirmed and preliminary matches on more than 20 others. There have been many people who have claimed to be America's worst serial killer. Mr. Little is definitely in the running. Thomas Hargrove tracks unsolved homicides, and he says usually serial killers like to inflate their stats. But when it comes to Little... So far, law enforcement has been unable to confirm that he's lied about anything. The FBI has put out maps of Little's unmatched confessions, including two here in the Phoenix area. Little saying he killed a Hispanic woman in 1988 or 1996, and a white woman in 97, potentially called Anne. If his, if his confessions are accurate, he is the nightmare scenario for serial killers. In a statement, Phoenix police say it has not been able to corroborate the information provided by Samuel Little, but continues to investigate. The FBI reporting today that Little had an M.O. going after vulnerable women, strangling them. He's a big man uh, with very powerful arm, arms and hands. Little is now in his 70s in a wheelchair as police across the country rush to try to match him with old murders, dusting off cold cases on the horrendous acts of a man finally behind bars. We're glad that he's in prison and not going anywhere, and that's where he should die. Little claims to have committed murders in 14 states. We're in the Alert Center. Michael Doudna, 12 News.